Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now let's put that power to the test. It's time for Teacher. Hello everyone, I am Junelle Labor. Ako po si Chen San Pascual, and this is K-Check. Remember, hindi lang ito isang test ng brain power ng ating mga contestants. Imbitado rin kayong sumagot at matuto. Every K-Check is an opportunity for us to teach and learn. Samahan niyo kami hanggang sa papalapit na final week of competition when we find out kung sinong tatanghaling kauna-unahang K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Hannah studies BS Chemistry, minor in Gala and Org. She likes to roller skate and to explore food spots in her free time. Lance is a sophomore student at the Ateneo de Manila University. As a campus journalist, he's always updated with the latest events and issues in the country. Thomas is currently studying a degree in communication. Under the said program, he is taking courses related to advertising and public relations. Gian studies BS Chemistry at the Ateneo de Manila University. He listens to various genres of music and likes playing video games and watching variety streamers. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's KCheck panel of experts. Professor Glessy Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And Professor Amy Sue Martinez of the Institute of Chemistry, UP Diliman. And now, contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan, where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! <music> Anna, what country is famous for its Oktoberfest that really starts in September? Germany. Okay, check. Lands, in recent events, what does the first O in Pogo stand for? Offshore. Okay, check. Thomas, what school do the Green Archers play for in the UAAP? De La Salle University. Okay, check. Gian, in what country can you find the Leaning Tower of Pisa? France. Malé, Italy. Hana. Which scientist born in 1879 became famous for his theory of relativity? Albert Einstein. Okay, check. Lance, what country is the only neighbor of Portugal? Spain. Okay, check. Thomas, what is the common name, ma main ingredient of espresso, cappuccino, and latte? Coffee bean. Okay, check. Gian, what organ of the body has chambers called ventricles and atria? Heart. Okay, check. Hannah, what do the letters TKO mean in boxing? Technical knockout. Okay, check. Lance, Patrick Starr is the best friend of which cartoon title character? SpongeBob SquarePants. Okay, check. Thomas, in what country is there a province and region named Champagne? Spain. Malay, France. Gian, final question. Also known as IG, what is the name of the photo slash video sharing social networking service owned by Meta Platform. Instagram. K-Check. And that's it for our first round, the K-Check Paramihan Round. Magagaling. Diba? Nakakasagot sila. Diba? Kasi yung ang mga questions ay parang ang lawak ng coverage. Oo. Oh, so, oh. mm -hmm. At saka parang familiar sila dun sa mga tanong at sagot. Correct. Kasi generation nila yung mga Baka, tanong. Baka, diba? Mukha mm -hmm. naman, no? Parang gusto ko actually tanungin si Hana kasi nagbasa ko dun sa bio note niya kanina. May pagka-foodie ito, eh. Alam mo naman mm -hmm. tayo, diba? Yan ang ating hobby, eh. Maghanap ng kung saan masarap kumain, ba? Hana, saan mo ba marirecommend na dumayo kami? Anong food spots ang happening ngayon? Mm, ngayon po, uh, marami po, siyempre, sa maginhawa pa rin sa Teacher's Village. Ayun, marami po doon mga bagong kainan. Diba? Pwedeng-pwede sa pagbabalik ng ating mga estudyante, diba? Anong klase yung mga food ang nasa palate mo? Uh, ang prefer ko po ay usually Asian cuisines, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Filipino po, siyempre. Diverse din, diba? Prof. Aimee, diverse din ba ang panlasa mo sa mga pagkain? Mm. Ano mga favorite mo? Japanese. Ah. I love raw fish. There okay. you go. 
<laughs> May question ka sa mga contestants natin? Oo, oh, I have a question actually for Gian, the other chemist in the in our group of contestants. So, dalawa sila. So, Hanas is from Institute of Chemistry, so I won't ask her anymore. I'll just ask Gian. So, I have two questions for Gian. One is, who is your favorite chemistry professor in Ateneo? <laughs> Uh, name dropping is a necessity. Uh, oh my, I guess I'll just name drop. I am my current prof in organic chemistry, which is um, Dr. Chua. So, yeah. Sige, so ko sa kanya, ha? The other question is, what do you plan to do with your chemistry degree? Um, right, I'm still a sophomore right now, so I don't have that specific um, path to take when I graduate. But I was thinking like in the field of research, po, talaga in chemistry. Wow, hindi ka mag-med school. Fighting, kaya mo yan. Salamat. PhD, ha? <laughs> Thank you, Prof. Aimee. At ngayon naman, ready na ba kayong lahat for our Pabilisan Round? Next here on K-Check! Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan, check. Ano na nga ba ang nakalap na puntos ng ating mga contestants? Nangunguna si Hannah and Lance with 30 points each, then si Thomas and Jayan, 20 points each. Dikit. Correct. Nag-warm up pa lang ang mga contestants. Oo, nararamdaman ko na bubulusok yan mm. sa susunod na round. We're now going to K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot ha. Kaya contestants, pag-isipan muna bago i-press ang buzzer. Let's begin. Which movie monster has a name that was formed by combining the Japanese words for gorilla and whale? Lance? Godzilla. Kate? Which European capital city lends its name to a psychological situation in which a hostage identifies closely Stock, Stockholm Gian Stockholm identifies closely with his or her captors Stockholm Syndrome K The adjective renal spelled R-E-N-A-L refers to what organ of the body? Hannah? Kidney K which American television personality is known for producing and hosting a drag race show that bears his name? Thomas? RuPaul. Kate What is the name of the children's horror stories created by R.L. Stein, starting with Welcome to Dead House in 1992? Gian? Goosebumps. Kate what is the branch of science that is concerned with the classification of animals? Pla Hannah? Taxonomy. Concerned with the classification of animals, plants, and other organisms. Taxonomy, K. What 1972 gangster film popularized the line, I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse? Lance? The Godfather. K. In what continent can you find Victoria Falls, one of the seven natural wonders of the world compiled by CNN? The correct answer is Africa. In sports, Sergio Perez won what Formula One race that was attended and watched by President Bongbong Marcos last October 2? Lance? Singapore Grand Prix. K Who served 27 years in prison in Robben Island, Paul Smoor, and Victor Verster Prison in South Africa before being released in 1990? Lance? Nelson Mandela. K in, in what Asian city can you find the Dusit Su, the Fiat Thai Palace, and the Siam Park City? Thomas? Thailand. You need to be more specific. The correct answer is Bangkok. 
final question. Which American rapper and singer made it to the top of the charts with the hits Rockstar, Circles, and Sunflower? Hannah? Post Malone. K-Check. And that's the end of our K-Check Pabilisan round. Point recap muna tayo. Nauna si Lance with 110 points. Kasunod si Hannah with 90 points. GN has 60 points. And Thomas has 30 points. Palaban si Lance sa round na ito. Ang ganda ng laban. Parang ang daming, ang daming kasing nasagot na tanong eh. So tuwang-tuwa ako nung binabasa ko yung mga tanong. Yes. Yeah, so, Nakakasagot sila. Kitang-kita ko yung excitement sila. Oo, oh, oh, di ba? Ano kaya ang excitement level ng ating panel of experts? Mukha bang na-excite sila? Sino ang pinaka-excite? Mukha may excited. Kasi hawak na yung mic. Kita ko na eh. Parang oh, oh. gusto kong sumagot. Oh, parang gusto siya, kong mag-debate di ba? tayo dito. Oh, Sige, prof. Nila. Ready na magtanong <laughs> o magbigay ng comment. Hindi, ang galing nung ano. Ang galing ng round kasi nag-uunahan para sumagot. At ito talaga yung spirit ng isang quiz show. Dapat palaban ng bawat isa. At bawat isa ay nakapag-ambag ng tamang sagot sa round na yon. Okay, so mas excited ako dun sa mga susunod na round. Ayun na nga, palaban ng ating mga contestants, di ba? Correct. This time, our contestants will face their toughest challenge yet dahil ang ating ultimate pagalingan round susunod na here on K-Check! Welcome back! Points recap muna tayo. Leading si Lance with 110 points, followed by Hannah, 90 points, Gian, 60 points, and Thomas, 30 points. Ang ganda ng laban. Parang leading yung mga atilista ngayon, mga panahon na ito, no? Eh, syempre, lalaban din naman ang sariling atin. Syempre. Tatanungin natin kung ano yung mga advice ng ating mga hurado, no? Sa ating mga contestants. Prof. Glessy, ano mga advice mo sa kanila? Ang advice ko siguro ay kailangan may focus, may energy, at saka may grit yung laban lang, laban tasig na laban. lang. Oh. Mm -hmm. May question ka sa kanila? Oo, tatanungin ko sana si Thomas. Kasi Thomas, nasa communication ka, di ba? Alam mo, iniisip ko, sa mga kabataan ngayon, sa katulad din yung kabataan, meron bang isang action kasabay ng word at isang tunog na ginagawa ang kabataan pagka yung sumisirit yung energy nila. May ganun ba? Ngayon po, ang pinaka naalala ko na lang po ay yung A po siguro. A? A. Ganun. Isa pa nga. Yay! Okay, thank you! <laughs> Maraming salamat, Prof. Iba practice natin yan, no? Uh, pag nag-show tayo ng energy. Prof. Neil, gusto mong i-practice ngayon yung energy non-verbal na yun? Ah, hindi ko kaya yung ginawa ni Thomas at yung pinagawa ni Ma'am Glessie. Okay. Ang tanong ko pala para kay Lance. Lance, ikaw ay isang budding na journalist. Ikaw kapos journalist sa Ateneo de Manila. Um, ang tanong ko, anong pinaka-importanting balita sa linggong ito para sa'yo? I think yung um, pinaka-importanteng balita po for this week is yung patuloy pa rin pong pagtaas ng presyo ng mga bilhin natin, inflation, because it really affects all of us, especially na uh, we need to solve this crisis immediately din po. Galing, galing ng pagkasabi ni Lance. I think pwede nating sabihin sa madaling sabi, panahon ng taghirap sa Pilipinas sa ngayon. Thank you. Thank you, Prof. Neil. Kahit na nahihirapan yung ating mga contestants, sure na palaban sila. Tama, di ba? We'll find out in our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan where correct answers are worth 30 points, wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdaga ng kaalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers, sa round na ito, sa mga professors na ating panel of experts, magagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman na natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winner. Contestants, let's begin! First question, Prof. Leslie. Ito ang tanong natin. What is the name of the plant where the city of Manila was named after? Hannah? Nilad. 
Okay, check. The answer is Ilan. Thank you so much. Prof. Neil, next question, please. Sino ang unang nag-akda ng balarilang Tagalog na ginamit sa pagsulong ng Tagalog bilang batayan ng pambansang wika nung pamahalaang Commonwealth? Lance? Lope K. Santos. Ang tamang sagot ay Lope, Lope K. Santos. Kaya. Thank you. Prof. Aimee, next question please. Unang tanong sa siyensya. On January 8, 1939, the last naturally occurring element was discovered. What is this element? Hana? Radium. Mali. The correct answer is French. It was discovered in the Curie Institute in Paris. Thank you so much, Prof. Aimee. Next question, Prof. Glessy. The proto-novel Ang Pagsusulatan ng Dalawang Binibini na si Urbana at ni Felisa na nagtuturo ng mabuting kaugalian contained teachings on the colonial Morris for women and children. Who wrote this work? The correct answer is Modesto de Castro. Maraming salamat. Prof. Neil, next question please. Which waterway open in 1869 separates Egypt from the Sinai Peninsula and connects the Mediterranean Sea to the Indian Ocean by way of the Red Sea? Hana? Suez Canal. Ang tamang sagot ay Suez Canal. Kaycha. Maraming salamat. Prof. Aimee, next question please. Who is the only woman to have won two Nobel Prizes? Hannah? Marie Curie. In two different fields. Yes, Kate Marie Curie. One in chemistry in 1911 and one in physics in 1903. Thank you so much. Okay. Mukhang naghahabulan si Hannah tsaka si Lance. No? Hannah has 165 points. Lance has 140 points. Next question, Prof. Glessy. Hannah, ito naman. <clears throat> What is the name of the volcano which was the site of the 1906 massacre initiated by American troops to pacify Mindanao? The answer is Buddahu. Ito yung tawag dun sa vulkan. And the massacre is called Buddahu Massacre. Maraming salamat. Prof. Neil, next question please. Which term refers to a state that lacks legitimacy among its citizens and fails to provide adequate social services for its people? Ang tamang sagot ay weak state. Thank you. Prof. I, my next question. The strength of early lasers was measured based on how many razor blades a laser beam can penetrate. Based on a popular razor brand, laser strength is measured in what units? If you shave, you should know the answer. The answer is Gillette. But we don't really use this in the lab. I do a lot of laser work. We just use laser intensity, which is in watts. <laughs> Thank you so much, Prof. Aimee. Mukhang naghahabulan si Hana with 165 points and si Lance with 140 points, no? This would be the last set of questions. First, last question, Prof. Glessy. Philippine Literature. Bienvenido Lumbera is well known for his musical play but was also a scholar, a critic, a teacher, and an activist. What is the title of his dissertation? which became a trailblazing work on Philippine poetry and Philippine literary scholarship. The answer is Tagalog Poetry 1570-1898 to Tradition and Influences in its Development Thank you so much. Huling katanungan mula kay Prof. Neil, worth 30 points. Which Asian country 
consolidated its position as a major regional power after the Paris Peace Conference in 1919. Thomas? China? Incorrect. Yung sinagot ni Thomas, isa siya sa nakompromiso na bansa dun sa peace conference na yon. Ang nabigyan ng kapangyarihan ay ang bansa ng Japan. Thank you. Huling katanungan, Prof. Aimi, the make or break question. No? Hagen Han has 165, Lance has 140. Go ahead. From chemistry, which chemical causes the burning sensation when eating chilies? Hana. Capsaicin. With an IUPAC name 8-methyl eight, eight and vanilyl trans-6 nonenamide, the correct answer is capsaicin. Thank you, Prof. Aimee. And that's it for our third round, the K-Check Ultimate Pagaling Round. Congratulations to Hana, our K-Check Daily winner, with a final score of 195 points. She will receive a power bank from TBUP. We'll see Hannah again tomorrow when she competes with her other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Thanks to Lance, Thomas, and Gian for joining. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Glessy, Professor Neil, and Professor Aimi. This is Chenson Pasqual. And I am Janelle Labor. Join us again tomorrow for another Game Check. Check.